All right, tour day at World War II Memorial. So we will be in the World War II Memorial today. There was a battleship over here, but I don't think we can see it from this angle. USS Arizona. Ooh, gotta listen. Okay, about to start our tour. This is Pearl Harbor behind us. And I'm not sure which one that might be the USS Missouri. Of course, the Arizona is below the surface. We'll be going to it in just a little bit. One of the torpedoes, Japanese torpedoes that exploded. It's ridiculous. Battleship, Pennsylvania, was nearby in dry dock undergoing repairs. The battleship Utah still rests on the bottom of the harbor in a short distance from shore on the opposite side of Fort Island. The mighty battleships were the backbone of the Pacific Fleet and each boasted a crew of nearly 1,500 men. In all, almost 200 American vessels were located in Pearl Harbor that day. Off the starboard bow, or right front, of the boat, you can still see the white concrete mooring keys that continue to display some of these names. The battleships that came to Pearl Harbor back then did not drop anchor to secure their position. Instead, they were tied to these white concrete blocks, which were built in the 1930s. The Pacific Fleet tended to tie two ships together, one inboard, closest to the keys, and one outboard. If you look closely, you can still see strafing and shrapnel damage on some of their sides. Fort Island Bridge is to the right. The mooring key closest to the bridge was reserved for the USS Nevada. The Nevada was the only battleship to back and served as a morale boost for many. Following an extensive salvage operation, the USS Nevada's guns boomed once again as she provided fire support for Americans who stormed the beaches of Normandy, southern France, Iwo Jima, and Okinawa. Continuing on, the attack on Pearl Harbor began at 7.55. Remember that this wasn't just an attack on Pearl Harbor. It was an attack on all of Oahu. Fifteen minutes before the assault here, Japanese aircraft struck all the military airfields around the island. USS Missouri. Is it one of the ground plans? So here is the gun that my grandfather gave me. Japanese Arasaka Type 99. It's exactly the same. Yeah. So, for any Hawaii 5 0 fans, here's the big kahuna, King Kamehameha. And this is the one that you see in Hawaii 5 0 at the headquarters. <laughs> kind of cool. Groups hanging in there. We had an all day tour USS Missouri, Pearl Harbor. Now we're driving around Honolulu. And I think dinner tonight is kind of pick your own place, so, sweet. So we're going shark fishing, sashimi, fun fishing, there's our boat right behind it, sashimi too, sashimi too. We're getting everything prepped, seven of us, we're ready to go. We need to make sure we have enough cannonballs, bananas, and planks. About to go fight the megalodon. He's true. We're about to go fight the meg, the megalodon. We need plenty of planks and cannonballs. And we need to get a um, galleon. Yes, galleon would help. So we're going out right now. He said we'll go about a mile to two miles out. That's the shoreline right there. We're in a hotel somewhere right around here. It's awesome out here. It's really awesome. So we set out the anchor right here. Sea anchor. It's gonna open up like a parachute. Keep us from drifting around. 
We're about to cast out the tunnel for the big jumps. Let's see if we can get out. Yeah, so these are baited, ready to go. The 12 watt reels. Sweet! Can you tell what kind it is from here? Yep. That is a Galapagos. Uh, Galapagos. So do you actually cut the hook itself? Yep. Cool. That giant yeah, shape. I, that I thought that giant. was just like a glint of something. Alright, guys, let me get in here. Yep. There he is. That looks so cool. Yeah. A little bigger than the last one. That's the weight. Yeah, Coming up out of the deep water. No! There he goes, taking the water line. A little, bit, a little bit of fight left in him. Some looks like Pacific Gray. Is there any lines? There he is. Is there any on it for me? Sure. Oh, that's cool. Tell Mama we're up around. Send Mama over. Yeah, the best 
I mean, the best fishing competition. That's how it goes, so. <laughs>